Chicken ginger bowl. As a barrel of oil has gotten cheaper in Calgary, a hamper of food has become much more precious. Okay, I'll give you five of those. A big family there. The Calgary Food Bank is dealing with a spike in demand on some days more than doubling last oh, year's demand. The reason is little mystery, mounting layoffs in the struggling energy industry. No one thinks that it's going to be them, so when it happens, it's, it's a stunning moment for everybody, unfortunately. James McGarrah runs this community-owned food bank, and in 15 years, he's rarely seen demand spike like this. What kind of changes have you seen in the last few months? We've seen more people phoning that once upon a time said, I, I don't think I'd ever need a food bank. I, I'm, I'm okay. First time users. First time users. The need is real and for now lasting. Unemployment here in Alberta, Canada's leading energy province, is at a 20 year high. And it's hit every crevice of the economy. Jafar Khani's expertise is in waste management, but in oil fields. He's back sweeping floors at his student job just to pay for his student loans. With a specialized degree in energy science and an impressive work ethic, he had a job in the oil patch for a few months. Then, oil prices slid. You have a great degree. Has it surprised you that that hasn't gotten you farther? I applied everywhere, looked into different sources, networked, went to events, but it really has been a struggle. And these days, he says he cringes every time he hears the price of oil edge lower. The scary thing I find is you read these financial reports and everyone's throwing different numbers, right? Recovery from anywhere from two to five years to even some say up to eight years. The energy industry here is used to boom and bust cycles, but this time, many say it feels different. They're thinking about, is this the beginning of something different? Is this the beginning of a new lower carbon world? Maybe it is. Calgary's mayor uh, points out despite the energy places slide, places this city still happen. ranks in global top 10 lists so. of best places to live and work. See. But with empty commercial space piling up even downtown, the city has to bring this old cliche to life and create new opportunities beyond energy. I think we've gone beyond a point of just wishing for the price of oil to move to a certain level to thinking hard about what our future is. Do you want one or two bags? At the food bank with generous donors and volunteers, they are meeting demand, but they are already planning for 2017. I look at the spike in demand and go, how do we get to the other side? No one quite knows.